Hey what's going on guys, today I'm gonna show you how to use the Lottie animation on your WordPress website using Elementor. Sometimes you wanna add a little bit of animation on your website to make it more attractive to your user. So here you can use Lottie animation which is something like an animating image. And there are several reasons to use Lottie because its file size is very very tiny compared to other image format like JPG, PNG or GIF. And the other thing is no matter how zoom in or zoom out, it never loses its quality. Sometimes you use a JPG or PNG image and you can see individual pixels are broken down especially when you use a low quality image which looks very very ugly. But in case of Lottie, you can see the crystal clear edges regardless how big or small you wanna display your image. And the thing I like the most about the Lottie is you have to more control over your animation and you can add user interaction with that. Like when you click, hover or scroll on that element, you can trigger the animation. Okay, I'll show you how we can do that in a moment. But right now, before we start, if you don't subscribe, hit the subscribe button to get more of my upcoming videos. Alright, so before we start, we have to install and activate both the Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin in our website. I give this link in my description, you can get this from here. And after that, I have created a 404 page which looks something like that and here I have used a boring 404 static image. So here I want to replace this image with our Lottie animation. And by the way, if you don't know how to create a 404 page, you can see my other video where I have shown about that in detail. Okay, right now I want to edit this 404 page, so I want to go to the dashboard. And from here, under the templates, go to the theme builder. And in the error 404 section, I have created this template. I want to edit this with Elementor right now. So here you can see this is an image widget. Right now I want to delete this one. And here instead of image, I want to include the Lottie widget. So I search for Lottie and I drag this right above the heading. And you can see this is the default animation of the Lottie widget. So to change this image, we need to go to the Lottie files website. So right now I want to open a new tab and here search for Lottie files. Okay, we go to this website lottiefiles.com and from here under this discover menu, go to this free animation link and here you can find a tons of animation which you can choose and embed on your website. So right now as we work with 404 page, we want to search for 404. Okay. And from here, I want to select this one. Okay, we can see the preview of this animation. I want to embed that. So here is the embed option. As we use Elementor, so I click on this Elementor icon. And here it says us to log in here. So I want to continue with my Google account. Okay. So after login, you can find the embed URL right here. I want to copy this link from here and go to our editing page. And first of all, from the source settings, I want to choose the external URL option and then paste that URL right here. Alright, you can see this Lottie animation is successfully embedded inside our page. Now I want to show you some settings from where you can play around with this widget. So right now you can see this animation has already been stopped. But if we turn this option on, you can see this animation is now playing in a loop for infinite times. And if you want to limit that time, you can select this from this option right here. Now I want to turn this off. And after that, if we go to the trigger option, we can select different option for triggering this animation. So if we select on click option, this animation will play after clicking on that. And from here, if we select on a scroll event and then scroll, you can see this animation is playing when we scroll down to this page. 
and after that this is the option for play speed of this animation so if you want to increase or decrease the animation speed we can do that from here okay right now if we save our page and go to our preview you can see this animation plays much faster than the previous speed okay so after that here is the option for the reverse animation if you want to play this animation on reverse you can turn this on so you can see this animation plays to the forward and also plays back to the forward all right so i want to disable this option okay after that this is the option for the start and end point of this animation if you want to play an specific portion of the total animation you can narrow that down by increasing the starting point and also decreasing the end point okay so here i don't want this faster animation speed so i roll back to the default option one and we have all done and after that if we go to our style tab you can see several options for styling this widget so right now i want to decrease its width to 45 percent and i want to reduce this gap between this text and this widget so i go to this advanced tab and from here i want to give some negative margin for this so i remove this clip icon and give the margin bottom to minus 50 or minus 70 okay and at the top i want to give 25 pixel margin okay that looks very perfect right now so if we click on our update button and preview our page you can see this animation looks much way better than the static image and we have used this lottie widget inside our 404 page but you can use it on any pages any section of your website and make it more attractive to your user without affecting your loading time so that's how we can add a lot of animation on your website. If you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like this video to make me more inspired to make more videos like this. Thank you so much guys. I'll see you very very soon.